What's up guys, welcome to the GC journey. As the title implies, I have made my decision about the turbo. I read all your comments, I spent many sleepless nights, and in the end I decided to go rotated. Now, I know a lot of you are gonna be disappointed, and yes, it's a bit strange doing a rotated setup with a Tomlan in a cooler, but it's what I felt I wanted, and you know, emotional decisions don't have logic, so for all you practical people out there, don't try and make sense of this. In this video, we have lots of exciting things happening. The Process West Top Mount Inner Cooler has arrived, the GC is getting sent off to fabrication, and I might have found a solution to make the Chase Base Power Steering Kit work with the GC factory power steering pump. So, like I said, lots of exciting things happening. Let's start with unboxing the Process West Top Mount Inner Cooler. Can't wait to show it to you, you guys are gonna love it. Finally, it has arrived, the Process West Top Mount Inner Cooler. Now, the one I got is actually for the 01 to 02 models. Process West do make a GC specific Top Mount Inner Cooler that comes with the, the larger splitter that bolts right up to the factory GC hood. But the reason I went for the newer one is because I have a newer intake manifold and the angles are a bit different, the mounting brackets are a bit different. This uh, cooler actually uh, utilizes the factory uh, brackets so that's the main reason I went for this I think this cooler is the main reason I do not want to go front mount this was the deal breaker for me and um, I just love this thing it's beautiful so this is the kit um, I'm gonna try see if it fits in my car so wish me luck Okay, so the intercooler doesn't fit because it's hitting on the fuel pressure regulator. So we're gonna have to relocate it, uh, the fuel pressure regulator, we're gonna have to relocate the fuel pressure regulator. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna disconnect it, move it out of the way for now so I can fit the top mount intercooler. But uh, so far, looks promising. Okay, so I fitted the cooler. Uh, it's he held in only with the um, with the uh, silicone coupling. I just wanted to fit it for giggles, you know, to see what it looks like. And I'm already very, very happy. It looks excellent. The bracket on the left-hand side needs adjusting. I need to pull it out a bit so that uh, the bolts line up. Right now it's hitting on the cooler. So I'll just uh, quickly adjust uh, the bracket. I'm not entirely sure the hood is gonna close. But, you know, let, let's take one challenge at a time, okay? Let's not uh, jump ahead of ourselves. I adjusted the bracket. It's looking fantastic right now. Uh, all the bolt holes are lined up. And so I'm just gonna get like the cushion, the space and the bolt that come with the factory top mount inner cooler because I don't have them at the moment. So I will order them. And then uh, the cooler should be very solid and it will sit very nicely. It already looks very, very nice. I'm very happy with the option I went for. So let's move on to the next thing. Right, so the car has been sent off to fabrication. I'm really looking forward to seeing what the rotate setup will look like. I did ask the fabricator to move the turbo as close as possible to the strut tower and as far away as he can from the top mount inner cooler. So really looking forward to seeing uh, what that will look like. Once the car is back, we will see the final result. Now, I might have found a way to make the Chase Base Power Steering Kit work with the factory GC Power Steering Pump. This is the pump right here. I just removed the reservoir that was sitting here on the top. It was held in with these two bolts. If you're interested to see how I removed this, you can watch the previous video. I'll link it over here so you can watch it. But looking at the fittings on the hoses that came in the Chase Base kit, the fittings that go to the steering rack seem to be the same. 
Again, I haven't checked them yet. I haven't tried to see if they fit, but it looks like they will fit. It looks like they're the same fittings. The fitting that goes from here uh, to the hose that goes to the steering rack also seems to fit. This I actually did check, so this fits. No worries, this will work. The only thing is the top port, which the Chase Base fitting doesn't work uh, with the GC factory port. Now, I went online and I found on eBay a store called torx.co.uk which make this fitting that converts the top port of the power string pump, of the GC factory power string pump, to a dash 8 AN fitting. Now, the Chase Base kit requires a dash 10 fitting, so uh, I got this expander from dash 8 to dash 10. Again, not the prettiest or the cleanest or the smartest solution, but this is what I found. And I also got this 90 degree bend, so I can choose the orientation to suit my needs. Now, again, I'm hoping this will work uh, when we reach the stage of fitting, of installing the kit, so we will find out. But I'm hoping that it will work with these fittings and I won't have to buy a new power string pump and I can use the, sorry, I can use the GC factory power string pump without any other modifications. So that's the solution I found. If it works, I'll be very happy and so will you because now you know you can do the same. So that's all I have for you in this episode. Next episode, we'll probably see the rotated setup when the car gets back from fabrication. Really, really looking forward to that. So till next time, I thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.